Welcome to this video where I try and help you overcome or manage your dry hair or dandruff. Most blokes, and ladies actually, who get flakes in their hair wrongly assume it's dandruff. In fact, it's probably one of three issues, either dry scalp, psoriasis or dandruff. All three of these are a real pain in the neck if you don't know what you're doing. You're out meeting people, friends, work colleagues, dates, and going out knowing you've got white flakes coming out of your hair can make you feel really self-conscious and a lot of people find it affects their self-esteem. Well, all of these issues can be managed and it's possible to drastically reduce the problem if you know what you're doing. First, you need to distinguish between the three problems. Dry scalp is just the dead skin layer. We all shed skin from our scalp constantly. But if your scalp is very dry, you may notice very small flakes from time to time. The polar opposite of this is dandruff, which is normally the result of a very oily scalp. The scalp is trying to get rid of fungi called Malassezia furfur, and as a result overproduces sebaceous oil, whilst at the same time shedding skin. The result, however, can be large flakes of skin coming out and greasy hair. So remember that both of these occur on the scalp and cause noticeable flakes. Dry scalp is small flakes, dry hair. Dandruff is characterized by larger flakes and oily hair, and in fact, can often give off a pretty bad smell. Before I continue, I'm gonna give you a quick word on psoriasis. Psoriasis is an autoimmune issue, which looks like this. Psoriasis can flare up for a variety of reasons. I am not, however, covering psoriasis in this video. I just wanted you to see what it looks like and suggest that if this is the case, then you need to speak to a qualified dermatologist. Those people have spent years in medical school studying this and you need their expertise when it comes to psoriasis, not mine. Now, back to dry scalp and dandruff. You need to understand these two are very different problems. If you get them mixed up, you can make them worse. So dry scalp is often caused by over shampooing. This is where your scalp can't keep up with the rate you're stripping away the natural oil and your scalp gets dry and flaky. Then of course, you might get it into your head that you have dandruff and begin washing day and night or just too often. In this situation, you just need to take a step back. Ask yourself, is your hair greasy? Are the flakes you see quite big? If not, it's most likely dry scalp and you need to reduce the amount of cleansing that's currently going on. Another great hack is to get a natural boar bristle brush and brush your hair gently every day. The natural boar bristle brush is the best brush you can own and is perfect to help you remove old skin cells and spread the scalp's natural sebaceous oil all over your dry hair and scalp, which will in turn reduce dryness and reduce flakes and can often dramatically improve the look and condition of your hair. Something else you can do for your scalp and will do your body and mind the world of good is to make sure you drink plenty of water. Water plays a massive role in the health of your body. This includes the condition of your skin and your scalp. It's perhaps the most important factor in hydrating these areas and maintaining effective functioning of skin cells. When you don't get enough water, your skin cells begin to dry up and can flake. So let's say you've upped the water intake, you're using the boar bristle brush and reduced the shampoo regime, but your scalp is still dry and itchy. Well, I suggest you take a look at the shampoo you're using. Is it a harsh shampoo, cheap shampoo that's heavily scented? I would steer well clear of anything that says body wash and shampoo combined. Yeah, I'd give that stuff a wide berth. Fine for the body, but keep that soap away from your hair. You need to go and buy a more gentle shampoo, which isn't gonna agitate your scalp. I'll drop some affiliate links below for some of the products that I would recommend. Now the big one, dandruff. Dandruff is a serious pain to deal with and get under control. If you're attacking that noggin day and night with a shampoo bottle and the dandruff is still there laughing back at you, well, I'm not surprised. The reason is simple. 
We aren't just dealing with dirt and grease here. We're dealing with fungi, Malassezia furfur to be exact. Many normal shampoos will do absolutely nothing for those little yeast invaders. The shampoo you use has to have an active ingredient that stops the spread of the dandruff causing fungi. Here are the most common ingredients I'm talking about. Pyroctone olamine, very common, but not the strongest. Salicylic acid, which many people use for acne. Selenium sulfide, probably the best. Coal tar, which does have a very unique old fashioned smell. Ketoconazole, which tends to be in prescription shampoos. Seriously, it's time to stop mucking around when dandruff is present. Forget the natural remedies that your friend's cousin saw on TikTok. You need to get your scalp condition back to normal as soon as possible. There are so many quality products from so many trusted brands. I'll put some affiliate links for them down below so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, when you feel you've put those pesky yeasts back in their box, you can go back to using your previous shampoo, but please always keep your anti-dandruff shampoo handy in case the condition flares up again. It's much easier to nip it in the bud as soon as it reappears. Once you've got this under control, you should be thinking about keeping your diet clean. Foods rich in essential fatty acids, omega-3 and omega-6, play a critical role in normal skin function and appearance. So foods like salmon, tuna, extra virgin olive oil, avocado, fortified eggs, and many more will contribute to a healthy scalp. Many shampoos for dandruff also include zinc pyrithione and biotin. So foods containing these minerals, such as crab, pumpkin seeds, Halloween's a great time if you like a pumpkin seed, peanuts, dark chocolate, oysters. Jeeves, set me up some oysters for breakfast, please. This video is not a substitute for the advice of a qualified dermatologist, but I hope it gives you a far better idea of how you can address dry scalp or dandruff and that some of the product suggestions in the description below can potentially solve your problem. I'd love to know if you've tried out any products for dandruff and have they worked for you or not worked for you and is there anything you would recommend? Please feel free to share any of your own experiences in the comments section below. If you found this video useful and would like to see more content from me, please hit subscribe down below and hit the little bell so you don't miss anything when I bring out a new video. You can also find me on Instagram at The One Minute Barber. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.